Um, I had been working on a photography project for, for many years in the area. I've been a photographer for, for a long time. And I'd been thinking about making a film for years, um, but never, all the sort of variables never came together. And um, while I was making this, was making this work, I met a number of people um, on the Nine, which is the name of a, of a street. It's a very small neighborhood in the Central Valley of California. And so I met some people. I, I kept coming back and checking on them, really sort of fell in love with, with a number of women um, and was struck by, by how, uh, how kind of bright and intelligent and, and funny they were and they were in a place that was really like a purgatory, um, kind of nowhere, nobody, it was like a, a vortex and, and very much a um, sort of a, an invisible America, you know, the, the people were rendered anonymous, um, the women especially, and, uh, and the whole experience was, was um, I guess, the, the antithesis of, of the, the myth of, of an American dream. Um, and so all those circumstances came together and made, made sense, and I knew it was a very contained, kind of self-contained universe, and they were all the women and, and a couple of men were really excited to work with me on it and it just was the right time. Uh, my, uh, well first I got to know them um, over time when I would visit, but um, really the, the sort of the most personal aspect is my oldest friend in the world, my childhood friend, um, that I grew up with and we lived next door to each other for 20 years. Um, she, at some point, I went one way and she went another and she, uh, becoming a drug addict and living on the street, she was prostituting herself for money. She, I mean, she went down a downward spiral so, so kind of epically, uh, or quickly and, um, and I watched her deteriorate. I watched this person I knew my entire life, and this this you know very smart, um, beautiful young woman become a shell of a person. And and she told me the last time I saw her alive, she told me she said um, she told me she felt anonymous. She said she knew that people didn't even regard her as a person anymore. It's someone you see in, in the periphery and you think, you know, whatever, junkie, hooker, whatever sort of stereotype, um, you know, and that struck me. It's a, it's, we're, we're a culture that values celebrity. We value being seen. Um, we value notoriety and, and, and so what does it mean then to feel, to feel invisible? Like you, you do not, there's, you know, matter, and of course she does or did. But um, and then she said to me, you know, I'm. Uh, it's strange how life turns out. I would have thought you would be me, and I would be you. Um, which I've never forgotten. You know, I think about that every day. What the circumstances of our lives can change on it, change on a dime. And I was just as as kind of reckless and foolhardy as as she was. And why? Why did I? kind of take one path and she took another. For me, I know it was, it was uh, having, it was photography, it was my tether to, um, it was my purpose. Um, the aesthetic approach was, um, I was really particular about, um, because Kiki, the main character of the film is, she kind of represents possibility. She represents something, the, the fact that beauty, for lack of a better word, um, or possibility exists even in a place like the Nine, which is really, I mean, to call it purgatory is being, is kind of um, being polite, um, but that there can still be signs of, of um, I don't know, something, something uh, bright and shining and, um, 
and that's Kiki. And so I thought the, and the way she sees the world, she sees, she's effervescent and cheerful. And, um, and so I, f I wanted the, the aesthetic to mirror Kiki's way of seeing, and that was kind of this constant search for beauty within a, a really, uh, you know, really uh, dangerous, depressing place. But there's always, a, you know, there's always this parallel experience of if you, if you kind of pay attention over here, there's something, there's, there's, there's still something there that's remarkable. Um, so the aesthetic is, it reflects who she is, what she represents in the film and, and the way that she sees the world um, and the paradox that those, those um, you know, very contradictory things can, can coexist and kind of the sublime nature of, of like the horrible butting, you know, something horrible butting up against, um, you know, you know, very, very um, beautiful um, observations and, and things.